What color is your jacket? Mm, I see a brown color. And this building? Also brown. And this is the drawing that Georgi made when he was 10 years old. Pay attention to the color of the sun. It looks extremely strange, but only for those who don't have decreased color perception. For him, similar colors are a common thing. They are called colorblind. A more accurate name is people with a decreased color perception. Even more accurate, then there will be a lot of scientific information. So, you dear audience, be patient. Let's start with a name. Daltonism was named after John Dalton, who first described the disease on the basis of his own sensations. John could not distinguish the red color. Therefore, from the point of view of modern science, Dalton had protanopia. You, as smart viewers, probably immediately realize that there are many types of color blindness, and each has its own name. So, let's put everything in order. People without a decrease in color perception are called normal trichromates, and those who do not distinguish one of the colors are abnormal trichromates. A decrease in perception of red is protanomaly. Green, deuteranomaly. Blue, tritononomaly. Those who do not see one of the three colors at all are also divided into three groups. Protanopia, like John Dalton, if you do not distinguish red. Deuteranopia, if it is green. And tritonopia, if it is blue. And finally, for people who contemplate the world in black and white colors, and there are also such ones, there is a name. Monochromasia. That's it. Relax. There will be scientific terms, but not so many. When did you discover that you do not perceive some colors? Well, it was discovered in the kindergarten when we were given a task to draw some kind of landscape. And I drew furs with green trunks and brown needles or a green sun. Yeah, a purple sky, a green earth. Now all the attention is on the screen. This is the world through the eyes of a normal trichromate, that is, an ordinary person. And this with a decrease in perception of red, protomanali, green, deuteranomalia, blue, tritonomalia. By the way, Georgi does not see both red and green colors. For him, the world looks like this. We still have four decreased types of color perception, and let's show them on the example of famous paintings. For those who suffer protonopia, that is, they do not completely distinguish red, this masterpiece looks like this. For people with deuteranopia, those who do not see green, Morning in a Pine Forest by Shishkin and Savitsky will look weird. However, like other famous canvases, Trinanopalm, that is, unable to perceive the blue color, the seascapes by Aviazovsky seem surprisingly monotonous. And people with monochromasia, that is, completely colorblind, some pictures won't be understood. Time for the experiment. Georgi and I will go through a test that determines color blindness, and you can check yourself together with us. In fact, you can live a lifetime and never go through this survey. The test, as far as I know, is called a color blind test. Is that right? That's right, and today we will take a test which is called the test of Rapkin, because it is named after a Russian scientist who created it. Well, without delay, I can say that in this figure I see two figures. The first is 9, the second digit is 6. That's the correct answer. And this picture will be seen by any person even with a... with a, any decrease in color perception, because this is called a test plate. It is created in order to identify fakers. There are two such images in Rabkin's test. This will also be visible to both ordinary people and colorblinds. By the way, Georgi, as I have proved, is not a faker. And then, actually, the pictures are not for everyone. In this picture, I see two figures, nine and six. Yeah, here? Five. 
I see the number five here. That's right. And this figure will not be seen only by a person who has a very severe decrease in color perception, like monochromatism. I do not see anything. Just multicolored spots. Yes, usual spots. 13. That's right. A person who has a decreased perception of red or green color will see the figure 6 here. I do not see anything either. So, in this picture I see 12, 1 and 2. Correct. And, and here, a man who has a perception, impairment, with a red color is mistaken. I think the principle is clear. I will continue to show pictures to you. And in each, a couple of seconds later, let's say, the correct answer will be displayed. You can check yourself. Rupkin's test is considered very accurate, and most importantly, it reveals all seven types of color blindness. I don't have it, and I recognize numbers and figures. Georgi has a bad perception of red and green. So, in some pictures, he will be able to distinguish something, but it is bad. And somewhere in general, he will not be able to see what is painted. What do you see here? Nothing. And in the lower corner? I do not see anything either. Here, I see six. In the first half? Well, if you look really carefully, then eight or nine. We'll continue the test, and I'll continue the story. People with an inborn decrease of color perception are more common among men. Although this disease is transmitted through the female line, the most common type of color blindness is deuteranomalia, a poor perception of green. And the rarest type of color blindness, as it is not difficult to guess, is monochromasia. That is, the whole world in black and white. Discussions, does color blindness somehow affect life, are still being conducted, just like the debate on the topic and what should be forbidden to people with a decrease of color perception. For example, in Turkey, such people aren't given a driving license. In Russia, there were restrictions on certain categories of licenses. A few years ago, the requirements were tightened and then released again. And Georgi and I, as well as you, are going to complete the test. Now there will be the last and unusual sign. Here we have a different task. Tell me, in which series, horizontal or vertical, do you see the same shades? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I see the shades of brown and green horizontally. Vertically. Vertically. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I missed something. Yes, of course. Explain why that happens. Why do people like Georgi see no colors or see them poorly? Don't be afraid. I will explain it without scientific terms. Well, there will be only one term, cones. These are the receptors in the retina of the eye. There are three types of cones, sensitive to red, green, and blue. And they are sensitive because of the pigment. So, the color blinders have this pigment less than the norm, or it is completely absent. Now watch the hands, more precisely for the pigment. Let's assume that in the cones there is less pigment, which perceives the green color, and the person sees it poorly. There is absolutely no pigment, and a green apple will seem to the person to be brown. Now, surprise! All the variety of colors we see are just a different combination of red, green, and blue. But since there are people who have less pigment in the cones, it means that they will look at all other colors in a different way. The assumption is pretty bold, and our film is coming to an end. Let's do it this way. I will display various pictures on the monitor and ask Georgi to show this or that color on the screen of his laptop. I hope that while the credits are on, there will be enough time to understand if we are right, thinking that colorblinds see all the colors differently. I'll say goodbye to you until next time, and the experiment begins.